Hello, and welcome back to another episode of the wonderful world of Luna. Um, after recording the last episode, oh, it's nighttime. Boo. I, uh, talked a little bit with a couple people on the server and discovered that I could get a new crafting guide, and even better, I could get all fresh new armor from a house near spawn. So if you ever find yourself without those items, there is a place near spawn where you can just go and grab them out of chests. So that was pretty cool. We got that stuff back, which is phenomenal. As I didn't really know how to make anything without that. Um, Unfortunately, with it being nighttime right now, I kind of can't see to do too much. Um, but I was giving it some thought, and I think I'm going to change up a little bit of some of my ideas. Everything over on the sand, like we were discussing in the. Well, I guess we weren't discussing it because there was no input from anybody. But everything over there is going to stay pretty much the same. I might still make that. Uh, storage building a little larger but I am going to put um, a fortress up here and then I will have like this will be the um, the main kind of place where the the castle per se will go hey and then uh, Yeah, maybe off in the woods, off to the side past where the house I have built is, I may put in some more smaller houses. Okay, well that was weird. Something hit me, but I don't, I don't see anything there. Odd. Most odd. So I got a new crafting book, which is phenomenal. And, uh, discovered that, ah, there he is, discovered that I, uh, yeah, I don't really have a lot of materials that I'm going to need right now. So that'll be fun. I have to, like, collect slate and all sorts of different materials that I was not really expecting to have to get. Um, what I'm gonna do here... Wait, what? How did that happen? Is kinda build this up with dirt. And put it all back to the same level. Now, I know I could build with a different leveled height on the floor. I've seen it done, where the buildings just flow with the landscape. My building is not quite to that level yet, so I'm going to do it the easy way. And just uh, level the ground up first. Because then I don't have to mess around with that. So, if there's that to do. And then they're chopping down a bunch of trees, which it'll take a while because these pine trees you can't reach up to the topmost. Like there's still logs up there, but I can't reach them. So I'll have to figure something out for that. Probably we'll just end up throwing dirt on the ground to make a little tower and reach it that way. Fortunately, this wood will be useful in constructing some stuff over in the sandy dunes on the neighboring isle. So that's at least useful. Yep, can't reach that. Um, but yeah, probably really not going to use wood a whole lot for the castle. I want to use some of the stuff that's from the... Um, I honestly don't know if it's from the Dark Age or if it's from the castle's mod. But there's some 
pretty nice looking uh, stones and bricks and I want to use some of those so gonna try that but like I was saying those are gonna require that I find different resources in the ground like I want to do some slates but in order to use slate obviously I need to find slate in the ground um, and there's a couple other stones that I want to use but I'm gonna have to find them first oh, I don't have any dirt in there hmm I need lots of dirt but I'm gonna find dirt maybe I should have removed the highest level here and made it all this level yeah probably because there's a big area at that level yeah that's what I'm gonna have to do and I don't have any stone well, that's no good I need to get some stone. What do you get from these? That'd be perfect if you got stone from it. Oh, you get a pebble? Oh, that's not gonna do me any good. I need some stone so I can build a new shovel. And I guess there's a tree in my way there. Uh, <laughs> no, I'm not looking at sand. I think that was a ghost. Yep. He dropped something. A chicken egg? No, he didn't drop it. That was just sitting there. Had to have been. Aha, perfect. Um. All right, got my one stone. I'll need more, but for right now, that's all I need. Let's see if I can get back up here now. Stupid root. Yay, I'm back. All right, so let's go ahead and make this new shovel. Go crazy. Go crazy. The moon is setting, the sun is rising. Tis the makings of a beautiful day. Not sure why this grass did not turn to dirt yet. It should have. It's kind of peculiar. Uh, I don't know exactly what shape I want to use as of right now for the castle. I'm thinking square because that's just the easiest you don't have to try to deal with angles and stuff but I might do a square and then have like the lookout towers protrude out of the sides of it so it'll kind of take up some of these edges that the straight lines won't meet well that really didn't last very long at all uh, well um, so yeah, I might just use a square and then have some lookout towers on it. I still do want to do the bridge going across here, though. And that will, uh, pretty much just meet right up to the castle, I guess. And, uh, yeah, it'll just be like a, an extended lookout tower slash lighthouse for the people in the castle. So they can, uh you know, see if anybody's coming and know beforehand so they don't get surprised by somebody sneaking up on them. So I think that actually might be a little higher over there than it is here. I'm not sure. If it is, I'll just make the doorway in the castle a little higher. Not really a big deal. Shouldn't be anyway. 
the ground in here. I'll probably leave the dirt and just make pathways out of some other material. Kind of leading to the main places. I'm thinking inside we're going to need an armory, of course. Because castle is not much good without an armory. And that'll probably also include a blacksmith shop. Then, um, probably a church to double as a hospital. Um, a small spot for like a little marketplace kind of thing. Um, possibly a small garden. I don't know if I'll really have space for that. It'd be nice, but realistically speaking, if you pull in all of your um, all your population into one castle and then just have one small garden, probably really not going to be able to, you know, raise enough food in one garden to support all of those people. However, I might be able to do like an herb garden, you know, and they could be medicinal things that they're using for, uh, you know, for the doctors and stuff. Of course, I really don't have any herbs that I can grow, but, you know, that would be the idea. We'll see. We'll see how this all works out as far as spacing. Okay, so I got a bunch of trees to get out of here yet. And I guess I'll pick up all of these flowers and grass. I don't think there's any use for any of them. But... I know I can't make blue dye out of the flowers. I guess I could use blue dye for the uh, for the little open air market, possibly. Okay, I got plenty of dirt now. I need that, and I gotta figure out what my underneath the tree point is. Right here, I think. Wow, I calculated pretty good. How high does this go? That goes pretty high. And back down we go. Now we'll have to plant some trees someplace to make up for all these trees I'm harvesting. But I'm not really sure where I'm going to do that. With luck, I'll be able to reach over to that neighboring tree without having to build a new stack of dirt. Aw, oh, really? My axe broke? That's horrible. It takes forever doing this by hand. Um, you know what? It's not really much better, but... I think it is a little bit faster than going by hand. Wait, am I using my... Why did I make an axe? Or a pickaxe? That was stupid. And now I don't have enough wood. There we go. Yeah. Needed an axe, not a pickaxe. Okay, that's a new tree. Here it is, I think. Oh, that was lame. Thought I could reach it off from the top side. Not sure if that was leaf decay kicking in, or if that was just, just plain old bad foot placement. I'll grab these eggs, seeing as how these chickens just love to lay them all over the place. Why, thank you. Why, thank you. I can cook those and eat those. Tons of saplings. Um, you know what? I'm just gonna throw a couple torches out here just to keep some light. Mainly because I don't necessarily want this to become like a huge monster breeding ground. 
And evidently I miscalculated the placement. I think I got it. No. Where? Where in the world am I supposed to be going? Then? Hmm. Well, this will work too. Da -da -da. And we got some here. And here. And I think that's it for this clump. I could grab some of these leaves because I can turn them into sticks. And I can always use more sticks. Um, that's really about it I can use them for. I think they do burn. So technically, you could use them as fuel, but I don't think their burn time is really that high. So it's probably not really worth using them as fuel, but still, it, it would be a possibility. Okay, pick up these saplings. Um, I'm probably going to end up doing stuff off camera. If you've watched any of my other videos, you know I occasionally do stuff off camera that's just super repetitious like clearing these trees that'd be pretty boring I really can't see too many people being like oh, I really want to watch you clear trees because seriously that is pretty boring so I may end up just doing a bunch of tree removal off camera I'm not positive yet Okay, well, can definitely do this on camera. Just because putting dirt down is not boring at all. Okay, so we've got that. And that. And that kind of gets me... Uh, I don't know where this is falling from. Kind of puts me to a point where we can start kind of blocking this in. So, hmm, what if I do, <clears throat> I'm trying to think, how big would a tower need to be? Could I even put a stairway up in that? No, probably not, but I could do ladders. Which will end up being what I do. And then... I guess coming off it like that. So, then we need to do one, two, three. Should be a space of two left on the inside. And that should be set back one. Whoops. Did that wrong. Okay. Uh, this tower will have to get some shoring underneath it. Or just do that. Okay. I can't really go out that way though. Huh. That's really not going to leave a lot of space. Well, I have to have that bridge here anyway. So that might just be a little opening, and then we'll do like a building there and a building here. Yeah, probably. So we'll say something like that for the bridge going across. So we'll have a doorway there. Just like so. I'll go ahead and put the torches on that. Then I'll put a torch there. And a torch there. Alright, then. I've got dirt down here anyway. May as well do that. Take that across. Dig this out. 
that could actually all stay there without even mattering. Like this. And this will go a pretty long ways. It's going to be a narrow but long. Um, just be a tall wall around the edge of it. Which actually... The wall should have some thickness to it so that you can actually walk on it, on the top. Hmm... Not positive how I would set that up. Okay, well... We're going out there, so we'll go here... And go out... And quite possibly do another tower here. Just like that, and then yeah, we got plenty of space going out. So we'll go out to there, and then maybe even another tower over here right away. Well, like I mean, there's no rules. It's just whatever looks nice. Be a lot of lookout towers on here, but that's okay. It is, after all, supposed to be a formidable fortress. I could actually do, and this might not be a wow, would have thought that would have removed itself. I could do a uh, like a small garden up here, probably. I don't see any reason why that wouldn't work. Just a small garden uh, on the outside, and then just put like a short stone wall around it. That'd probably be a good idea. I think I've seen a dirt monster. Yerp, and he's seen me too. Oh wow, there's like three of them there. Sprint to the house. And get in and close that door. Piazza. Safe. Okay, well that is going to wrap up today's episode. So, thanks for watching. And, um... Yeah. I will catch you all next time.